From the earliest days of civilization, humanity has been building bridges to make it easy to cross water. Bridges and bridge construction range from single stone arches to modern lengths of concrete and steel. Not every bridge is as well known as New York's Brooklyn Bridge, but even small pedestrian bridges fulfill a real human need. Florence's Ponte Vecchio has been built and rebuilt for more than a thousand years, and London's Millennium Bridge was built as part of the city's Millennium Commemorations. The Golden Gate is part of San Francisco's identity. It's a suspension bridge. The Weibedu Bridge in Shanghai is of camelback truss design. The second Severn Bridge crosses the Severn Estuary between England and Wales. Its central span is suspended from steel cables. Though this design allows for giant spans, it is subject to problems that arise due to harmonic vibrations in the suspension cables. In the 1940s, designers knew nothing of this problem. But when the Millennium Bridge developed a peculiar lateral motion, architects who thought they understood bridge design were surprised and it moved more than anybody had anticipated. It was always safe, um, uh, but it was a new phenomenon. You have to remember that when it opened, it met every test, every criteria, every rule that had ever been devised in the history of, of bridges. And, um, and it's a new phenomenon, and that will now be fed into the rule books and will change the design of bridges in the future. The phenomenon is now known as synchronous lateral excitation, and is due to the slight sideways movement imparted to the structure by pedestrian traffic.